Welcome to today's video. It is currently 7.45 and I'm about to make breakfast. I feel like I cannot catch a break with this freaking hip injury and it is hurting so bad ever since I hurt my back the other week since I was like lopsided. So today will be the first day back training like semi-normally and I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. I have a chiropractor appointment today. As per usual like do you guys even care anymore <laughs> and just that's kind of it so yeah welcome to the video I'm gonna eat breakfast welcome to the voiceover portion of today's video I have not done a voiceover in quite some time and uh, if you follow me on Instagram you might already know and of course I've mentioned it here on the blog a few times that I have injured my back because of that I now I'm dealing with a hip flexor strain so I'm not able to perform any full squat movements currently while I let it heal power stuff is okay so I just wanted to kind of like tell you guys what I was doing here in this workout it was a 12 minute EMOM so in every minute on the minute of of uh, 85 pound power snatch, 95, 105. And so I just had to make sure that all reps look the same, focusing on driving through the floor with my legs, uh, keeping my chest over the bar a little bit more. I find that when I become more fatigued, I tend to like pull backwards with my back. And that's something that I've just really been trying to work on. And here from this side angle, you can definitely tell, which is why I like to film from this angle, especially when I'm watching my own lifting back. And these felt okay. They are not like terribly heavy. It's just that I feel I'm moving weird and just not like myself due to the recent injuries. So whatever, just, you know, only can do what I can do and taking it one day at a time. Then after that, I moved into a wad, which was um, bike for one minute at 50 RPMs, three power snatch at 85 pounds, two muscle ups plus two extra dips, and then a uh, 100 meter run. And I repeated that for five sets. And then I just finished up here with some weighted strict pull-ups, just as some accessory stuff. It is a 15 pound kettlebell and I did five sets of three. I did a regular grip and then here you'll see I have a mixed grip. I do that like every other set and I'll internally rotate my right arm and then the next set I'll do the opposite. So that was all I had for today's training. Like I said, nothing crazy because I'm still trying to let this hip heal. So that is that and let's continue on with the video. So I just got back from the gym and before I get started on my little impromptu meal prep Monday video I wanted to show you what I found at Target Oh, okay. Why do I drop everything? Look at this Apple pie Cookie butter pumpkin spice now you guys already know pumpkin spice is like my favorite, but I need to try these two Live taste test for you guys right now. We are gonna go with the cookie butter flavor first. I think macros on these are both the same, so. Yes, seven grams of fat, 21 carbs for the uh, apple pie, and 20 for the cookie butter. Oh man, they smell good. I'm sure you get, oh, soft consistency. Okay, consistency of the cream reminds me of the key lime pie Oreos. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so you know how cookie butter is like gritty? The inside of this is gritty. Wow, that is, holy moly. 
I think they totally got that flavor like on point. Okay, apple pie. Whoa, it smells sweet. It smells really sweet. A lot smoother. The cream is like a Granny Smith apple. I don't know. It definitely has like a tang to it, which is why I feel like it's Granny Smith, or at least they tried to make a Granny Smith. And it reminds me of something apple that I can't think of, like a candy of some type. Oh, that's gonna drive me insane. I don't wanna say Jolly Rancher, but like almost a green Jolly Rancher. Like they dipped the filling into, like they dipped a green Jolly Rancher into the filling. Out of the two, I'm gonna pick cookie butter. That was fantastic. I think they nailed that flavor. All right, I'm gonna go shower, get myself ready for the remainder of this meal prep video, and I'll be right back to make some chicken and beef the usual. Okay, welcome back. Looking more like a well put together, even though I can't talk, human being. Those that are going to ask, my lip color is Lolita uh, by Kat Von D, I think. Pretty sure it's Kat Von D. And I just really felt like going all out with the maroon nails and the maroon shirt, you know, my headband from earlier. I didn't wash my hair because uh, blondes, we can't be washing our hair every day. But anyways, welcome to the Meal Prep Monday video. Uh, I guess I should say the portion of this video. I titled this uh, an informal Meal Prep Monday because it is partially a vlog, partially an Oreo tasting. <laughs> but I do have some chicken and steak and broccoli and a snack to prepare, so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me because I haven't made a Meal Prep Monday video in quite some time. Since it is Monday, welcome and let's get started. broccoli going um, I am bringing back the bacon wrap sirloin medallions from Target I just love those so much I don't know they're so easy to grill they take like five minutes not even I typically don't season these just because the bacon is enough so um, I do want to see how much they weigh though so I know how to log I did this in my last meal prep video so I'm sorry if this seems repetitive but this is seriously what I eat like all the time so just keeping it real guys just keeping it real component to the steak I'm going back to the celebration blend potatoes are just like a mix of purple red and yellow potatoes I love these so much and because they're so small they're so easy to cook which everyone that yelled at me about getting a new pan I got this new one and I got this new one so <laughs> this in a vlog a long time ago but one time I put these sirloin medallions on the grill and I forgot to turn them and they were like the most disgusting burnt pieces of meat ever and I couldn't even eat them they're so black I'm going to rotate them like this perfect <laughs> Oh, 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 
The usual, we got four ounces of lean chicken, 70 grams of rice, 50 grams of broccoli, 35 grams of peas in these three meals. And then this is for dinner later tonight. That's steak, potatoes, broccoli, and peas. This is just steak, potatoes, and peas. And this one is steak, potatoes, and peas as well. And that is my meal prep Monday for the dinners. Now I'm going to make one last thing as an on the go snack. So after my cookie fail in my last meal prep Monday video, I decided on going with something a bit more easy to make because I like the idea of like the little energy balls and these are not necessarily like high in protein or anything. I have the problem of not eating enough fat so this is why I chose to make these. Um, it's just four ingredients which I really like. It's blueberries, unsweetened coconut shreds, cashew butter and coconut flour. So they're gonna have like a sweet coconut nutty blueberry vibe, which I'm all about. Not very fall-like of me. I, I definitely expected uh, some pumpkin, but that will come in another vlog. So for now, we're just gonna make this. It's very, very simple, easy to pop into the fridge, easy to grab when you're on the go. So that is what we're gonna make right now to finish up this video and let's see how they come out. All right, so we're gonna add 100 grams of blueberries. Then, half of a cup of unsweetened gluten-free coconut shreds or whatever. So half a cup is two servings of that. So that's gonna go in. Two tablespoons is 32 grams. Two tablespoons of coconut flour. going to basically do what I did with the meatballs in one of my meal prep videos and we're gonna make them pretty even while they are cooling we're gonna make the recipe really quick and it served 11 Okay, we used 14 grams of that. We used two servings of that, it's 30 grams. Two tablespoons of that. 100 grams of blueberries. And it is for one little ball, three grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and not even one protein. Bam, done. So I did taste the energy bites before I put them in the fridge, like the batter on point and like they're so small and just like delicious if you needed some extra fats or whatever they're not really high in carbs because it's just blueberries and cashew butter it's mostly like a fat mostly a fat filler i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and try it out let me know if you do give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching as always i love you guys and i will see you in the next video Bye. Good morning! He's like, are you freaking kidding me? Hmm. He'll stick that little tongue out at me. Are you a good boy today? <laughs> oh, you're a little tired. Oh, okay. You didn't sleep enough? You know how many people want a day in the life of Tux video? Did you know that, Tux? So many of them. They're like, we love Tux. We want to see a day in the life. Look at those little teeth. <laughs> <laughs>